everyone, welcome back to Gypsy Fae Creations. Tia here with a soap making video. Today we are going to be making a lavender soap because I've had a lot of requests and a lot of people ask me, do you have a lavender soap? No, I don't. What's wrong with me? So, I'm going to fix that today and I'm not only making a lavender soap, I'm going to make one with a can of coconut milk. Replacing all the water in my soap with a can of coconut milk. Never done it before, but since lavender is really good for the skin, you can only imagine that coconut is going to be great for the skin. Full of awesome skin nourishing benefits like fatty acids and vitamins, and it creates a very creamy bar that lathers really well. So let's get started and make a coconut milk and lavender soap. by putting lye into coconut milk. If you're, if you're gonna replace your water with coconut milk, it burns when you throw the, the lye into it. So what I've done here is I've measured out my coconut milk. I keep wanting to say coconut oil. Uh, coconut milk and I froze it into the different shapes of different ice cube trays that I had. Um, and then I have my lye. What I'm gonna do is very, very slowly pour in the lye until everything fully melts. And you only want to do tiny little bits at a time. And give it a stir. And what happens if you don't do this is it turns yellow and it smells really bad. probably have gloves on for this, but I forgot. Don't judge me. I'm a bad person. I'm a horrible person, I know. <laughs> it's actually like the first, first thing in the morning that I'm doing this. I haven't had coffee. I haven't eaten anything. <clears throat> I was like, I have to do this first thing so that, you know, when I do get to the other things, that this is where I should go. continue doing this until this all melts down and then we'll bring you back to show you what it looks like and then we're gonna make soap with it. Alright so I'm just finishing up here. The little last bit of lye. All my cute little shapes have disappeared. Kind of sad. I had like a witch's shoe and a witch's hat and a cauldron and some flowers in there. <laughs> but now we're just looking at some coconut milk and I think I didn't, I didn't tell you guys, I have this inside of another bowl with some ice cubes just to keep that temperature down to, so that the coconut milk doesn't burn. So. so adding a little bit of this left, it's still not all the way melted. Almost there. Now to soap. I'm just gonna pour the coconut milk into the lye, or into the oils. And give it a mix. All right, and then I've got some titanium dioxide that I've put into some distilled water. Throw that in there. I'm gonna go rinse this other bowl out, I think. All right, so then in this other bucket, I've put in some Nurture Soaps Orchid Purple Mica. I'm just gonna split this batter. And mix that up. the 
side. So I'm not doing anything too intricate with this soap because I have a feeling with working with coconut milk and the blend, fragrance blend that I'm using that things are going to accelerate rather quickly. Scrape that down. Alright, the blend that I'm using I've got some, it's already wet, wiped off. All right, I've got some coconut milk fragrance oil from Crafter's Choice. This does contain some vanilla, it's like 2%. So I did add a little bit of um, vanilla color stabilizer to it. And then I've got some lavender essential oil that I've added to the mix as well. And I'm gonna split that up between these two. And mix it in. I think sometimes when you work with essential oils it really does accelerate things a bit so not not going crazy with this. Let's mix that in. It smells so good. It's such like a calming, sweet, very soft blend and I'm, I'm digging it. I would have never thought of putting lavender and coconut together, but I think it works. Mix that. So I got my gloves on now, and I also noticed that when I was mixing the lime coconut milk together that my apron was on inside out. So maybe I should be getting up too early and soaping first thing in the morning when my brain's not functioning. <laughs> but I ate breakfast and I had coffee and I'm good to go now. All right, this looks good. Let's pull this up and I'll bring in for a closer look. Okay, so I'm just going to do like a spoon swirl with this um, type of batter I've got here. It's really, really consistent. So I'm going to pour about half the white in. I have never soaked with full milk before. Um, and I'm really excited to see what I get. The reason why people soap with milk is because it does make for a very luxurious, very cream, creamy, very bubbly, awesome bar of soap. And there's so many different kinds of milks that you can use. Um, goat milk is really popular. And so is just whole milk or milk powders, almond milk. You could just it's amazing the things that you can soak with, it really is. Alright, scrape out this purple here. I might have to try other milks, but with this one, since I picked out the coconut milk fragrance, I thought it would only make sense to soak with coconut milk. I think it'd be really cool to own goats and make goat milk soap. I know there are a lot of people out there that do own goats and do make soap. So that is really, really neat. Um, even if you own bees, it's really cool because then you can put the beeswax or the honey in your soap. Alright, so I'm just going to give this a little tap. And then I'm going to take the spoon and just kind of swirl it in the batter here. Without making a mess, I hope. Making a pretty design on top. I'm gonna try and come back and do that the other way. <laughs> Not so coordinated. Kind of 
like a chopstick method, only I'm using a spoon, so I guess you would call it a spoon swirl. All right. I'm just gonna clean up my edges here. Give it a little tap. And then spray. And I'm going to get the top together. Also with working with coconut milk or any type of milk, some soaps will still go through um, gel phase and you really, really want to avoid that with soaps because it can still burn the batter, the milk in it, um, and it'll turn brown and you don't want that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this in the fridge, um, probably overnight. All right, so what I have here is some little gumballs. These are really, really pretty. I'm absolutely loving this color. And then I've got some salts that I've put in some snowflakes, sparkle, mica, and then I'm gonna do some drizzle on top. So let me go get that together. Icing at the ready. Got one of my favorite chips, a Wilton 8B. Actually, I'm gonna give this another spray with the isopropyl alcohol. And then start putting my little dollops on here. So this is totally reminding me of the spring, like the smell of lavender and coconut and these pretty colors. Such a spring looking soap and since it is spring, we've been doing lots of spring cleaning, Bradley and I. We are planning on moving this year, so spring cleaning is being taken to a whole new degree of actually getting rid of stuff, making piles of things that we don't need. I don't know where they came from, and it's surprising after living in this house for six years, the things that you can collect went from no house to our first house filled of all kinds of stuff. And it's mostly my fault. I am a big collector of random crap, um, like mugs and cats, um, books, Renaissance stuff, I love medieval things. Um, I have a like seven foot tall knight in shining armor. He is actually like a huge standing knight of just armor, exactly that, in my dining room. Um, I also have a huge collection of framed moths and butter butterflies. I really can't talk right now framed moths and butterflies, um, a wall of them, not lying, they go up my stairs and I like to get new ones every year, ones that I don't have, and I don't kill these, these are like coming from places that humanely harvest them, so don't yell at me. So curious what kind of things you guys like to collect. I have a lots of plants, um, witchy things. I'm really into like stones and crystals and I don't know, books, spell books and random items, shells. Lots of unnecessary things, trust me, that are going to be a pain in the butt to pack up. drizzle on this soap so I'm gonna get some melt and pour together and do that first. I right, just got some purple melt and pour here in a pipette and I'm just gonna do a little drizzle. start with the little purple balls and putting them in the middle. Uh, 
I hate this. I hate how slippery they get. Goodness. Start down here. It's just hard to see these lines on the side sometimes. And I'm never good at lining up in beds. I don't know why. making has also been a collection of mine. I now have like a full room dedicated just to soap making. So there's another thing to pack up and move. Not looking forward to that. All right, and then I've got some of these salts and I'm just going to sprinkle them on here. And then I'm going to give it one final touch of glitter, of course. A little sprinkle of glitter on there. And then finish it off with the isopropyl alcohol. So I'm going to put this in the fridge probably overnight and then I'll pull it out tomorrow and see where we are. But I'll, I'll wait probably 48 hours to cut this guy and I'll be back. All right, we're cutting this. I've turned it on the side so that the salts don't drag through it. And let's see how it turned out. Take a look. Hold up. Take a look. Mm. Mm -hmm. Very beautiful. It smells really good. I was talking about things that we collect. That was your idea. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what does Bradley collect? Tupperware. In my car. <laughs> what do I really collect? Oh. Broken guitars. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Musical instruments. Yeah, there we go. Sounds better. That's true. Rocks sometimes. Rocks. From interesting places. This is round. Excuse me. It's really hard to cut this one for some reason. This is the um, spoon swirls. First time I tried doing that. I just want to say I like that a lot. I like the colors you've chosen. It's very like smoky, I guess, looking or misty. I don't know. It's supposed to be like coconut milk and lavender. Yeah. Trim up that last bar. But uh, this one's a lot of fun making with coconut milk. Mm -hmm. There we go. That's it. Cool beans. 
there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you are interested in any of the soaps that you see me make on this channel, check out my Etsy shop. I list them on there, so whatever's available, you guys can purchase. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more fun soap making videos. You guys can leave me any questions or comments down below. I promise I will get back to you. And until next time, guys, smell you later.